in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own letterhead just like this one. So if you want to create this beautiful letterhead, keep watching. Hello guys, if you are new to this channel, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful letterhead. And to do that, I will show you how to insert the yellow background here. Also insert the name of your company using WebArt and your address using text box. I'll also show you how to insert a logo and then how to get the footer section of the letterhead. And finally, I will show you how to insert an automatic date such that each time you open your letterhead, you will see the current date. That said, let's get started. Having launched Word, I go to Layout, Margins, now choose Narrow. I want my design to be white. I can also make it A4 instead of letter. So I'll choose A4 here. Next, I go to insert shapes. Then I go to flow charts and pick manual input. Click on it. Then I'll draw this shape. I will rotate it under rotate then i choose flip vertical i want the slanting side to face downwards now i position it i'll drag open here perfect let me take it up a bit with my arrow key great now I'll select it and take off the outline. So I'll go to shape outline under drawing tools, click on it, no outline. Then I'll change the color, that is shape fill. Okay, I'll choose this. Let me open the shape small down perfect now i want to duplicate this so i select it copy click aside paste then i go to drawing tools format shape fill then i choose this and i'll position it well Perfect. Now I'll take it up so that a portion of the blue will appear. Okay. This is what I want to do. Next, I'll insert a word art. Word art. Then I choose this. Now enter universal legacy llc sorry perfect i'll position it here and i like this style so i'm not going to change it next i'll insert a text box go to text box I want to draw my own text box so i'll draw it in here perfect and i'll enter address box 1329 from tamale ghana okay I'll change the g to capital enter it is hidden. I will open this down. I will say 
phone 024-639-8204 that's my number you can contact me or you can send me money through this account perfect so i can add email so i'll bring a vertical line space online office teacher at gmail.com now center everything i've highlighted then go to home center now i want to pick it up a bit so you see that the white background of the text box is covering the yellow background here so i'll take it off by going to drawing tools click on format shape fill no fill shape outline no outline i don't need a line then i can change the text to bold perfect next i'll insert a logo so i'll go to insert pictures from this device i will go to i think i have it here to do list here's my logo select it then insert see that the logo is hiding it's an image so to be able to see it take note it is selected so picture tools is active under format i go to wrap text click on it then in front of text so i can move it from one place to another so i'll position it well this is where i want it then i'll resize it from here bring it down a bit so that it will align perfectly okay then this is cool now i'll go down to the footer i'll go to insert footer i'm inserting a blank footer and i'll take off this next i'll go to insert shapes now go down to block arrows and choose pentagon i'll draw it in here okay i think this size is perfect the shape is selected i'll go to rotate flip horizontal now I'll make a copy of this so I'll go to Home, Copy, click aside, paste. So I'll align it well. It is, it is well aligned because see the green line down there, meaning it is perfectly aligned. So I can take this backward, holding down Shift. Okay, this is how I want it. Take off the outline i don't actually need the outline i can still take it off and i can select the two shapes at the same time the first one is selected so i hold down shift and click on the second one and i'll go to drawing tools under format then shape outline no outline okay now the second one is here so i'll select it and i'll change the color Actually, I'm changing the color of the first one first. So go to shape fill and I'll choose choose this color. Now I want to take it to to hide the arrow part of it. Then I'll bring this one in. Okay. I make a copy of the blue one but before i do that let me just change the fill color we'll go to shape fill i'll choose this so that there will be variation between the first one and the second one so it is selected i go to home copy 
click aside paste the reason why i click aside before i paste is that sometimes when you don't click aside and paste the the new shape will try to be a picture and it will be difficult to edit it so this is in line i go to format shape fill and i choose this is the colors appearing well i'm not sure maybe you can change different colors but let me drag this one backwards a bit somewhere here and this one to somewhere here and then we are left with one shape to go okay perfect now this one is selected i go to home copy click aside paste then i take it here doesn't want to align well with my mouse so i'll drop it and use arrow key to take it there there are so many ways of getting there now I'll go to format shape fill then i choose this and this one too i take it backwards okay perfect think it's cool i can see some white space in here so i'll click the shape use the arrow key once let me click aside to confirm okay everything is cool now i'll go to header and footer design close header and footer and we are here now the reason why i didn't just insert the shapes in here is that if i do that when there's a need for me to get a second page for my letter or whatever we're processing it will try to push down the shapes in here but if you take it to the footer section of your document to always be intact and you even see it on the next page when you get there so for instance if i go to insert and then insert a blank page you see it there you see that so for instance if i were to if i were to go down to the second page and you see that it is there all right let me zoom out you see that okay so this is the first this is the first page and this is the second page and i don't need that so i'll just backspace to go back to my page one now i'll insert a date and i'm going to make it an automated date such that each time i open my letterhead i don't need to worry about typing in the current date so to do that i will go to insert it's already active then i'll go to text box just insert the fresh one that's taking me to the next page simply because my insertion point was here i can just drag it in here select the text inside then go to insert under text group i choose date and time and then i'll choose the date format i want i like this then i click on update automatically click on ok then i'll resize this text box take it to here and then i can align it to right increase the size i want it bold then i can open here a bit i'll select it and take it up with my arrow key all right now I'll take off the outline by selecting the text box just click inside go to drawing tools shape outline no outline perfect let me zoom out so that we see everything clearly 
can see some gap in here can double click there to edit it select this one down arrow key once okay the gap is closed and my letterhead is finished so this is yet another way of creating a letterhead for your company i hope you found value if you do kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i make a new video just like this one you'll be the first to know keep watching and we will talk soon